Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the Yumi Shan. Today we are back with the latest LEGO news for 2024. Now, of course, before I begin the video, I just want to say that if you do enjoy and want to keep up to date with all of the latest LEGO news from me, then make sure to subscribe as well as like the video and turn on notifications as well as follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server. Links will be down in the description below. But with that being said, everyone, let's get right into it. Now, first off, I want to start by taking a look at the list of the Summer 2024 LEGO Dream sets. So those are going to be the following. So first off, we have set 30660, Zoe's Dream Jetpack Booster with 37 pieces for $5. 71478, the Never Witches Raven uh, with 1,203 pieces for uh, $115. 71479 Zoe's Cat Motorcycle with 226 pieces for $30. 71481 Izzy's Dream Animals with 328 pieces for $50. 71483 The Never Witches Nightmare Creatures with 457 pieces for $60. 71484 Cooper's Dinosaur Robot with 917 pieces for $85. And 71485 Matteo and the Z Blob The Night Mech. Uh, with 1,333 pieces for $130. And then we also have set 71480 with 342 pieces. And set 71486 with 1,742 pieces. Those two sets are currently uh, yet unknown. But overall, it's a pretty interesting list in my opinion. All of these will be releasing for this summer, of course. August 1st is the specific date for those of you who are wondering. And then we do also have some more sets releasing for August 1st as well, which are these brand new LEGO Super Mario sets that have been revealed uh, for the Mario Day celebrations. And first off, we have the Bowser's car and this looks amazing or bowser's train i should say and i really like the way this looks i'm not a massive fan of the mario theme i just think what lego have done with it with all of the dig uh, figs and such is not that great but honestly i really do love this set i think that the actual train build especially the front looks amazing and you do get some pretty cool characters included in this one as well and some pretty nice side builds and i think this is by far one of the best mario sets that we've seen uh, recently uh, but here are some lifestyle pictures as well of the train as you can see it is a pretty decently sized model of course which is great and i just absolutely love that big bowser face that's at the front there with the boulder in his mouth and then you do have the steam uh, coming up from the top as well and then we do also have the next set being king boo's haunted mansion and this one looks really nice as well i actually really like the way this one looks and i really like that the fact that you can actually close it up there are actually hinge pieces you'll see on the side so you can actually open the castle up to make it a bit more of a larger um display from the front or if you do want to condense it down a little bit uh, to fit on the shelves and such uh, you can actually close it up uh, and we do have some images of the way that looks when it is fully enclosed but here is some of the interior it does look quite nice i will say the actual mansion is quite small comparing it to uh, the buildable mario characters i think this is a pretty decently sized mansion for minifigures uh, that being said i'm really hoping that lego mario makes minifigures at some point because no one really wants these sets i'm being completely honest with you people want lego mario minifigures so hopefully in the future we do get that but you'll see uh there are the hinge pieces on the side there uh which does allow for this to be closed as i just said and i think it actually looks really good closed i actually really uh, really really like the way this looks i think it adds a lot more uh, structure to it as well and i really like the depth that it adds as well um anyways moving on we do have another set which is actually roy versus peach's castle interesting because i'm pretty sure there is already a peach's castle out on shelves so it's quite strange how lego have released another one um i think that this one looks slightly better mainly because it is a bit of a smaller version and uh, i think it's a bit more affordable um and i just think that the shaping looks slightly slightly better in this one as well but it isn't really too much of a big difference between the two if i'm being completely honest with you but yeah it looks fine nothing really too special here if i'm being completely honest you can see some of the play features on the interior then of course you do get told as well which is quite nice uh, peach is not included in the set in order to get her you've got to buy the uh, peach uh, starter course um and for those of you who are also wondering uh, mario luigi and peach will actually be getting updated starter courses that will be releasing as well for this summer uh, because they have actually changed the dig figs to have usb ports for charging instead of having batteries um, and then we do also have the roy build character as well and then lego did release his teaser So 
so lego mario kart is indeed coming for 2025 anyways moving on we did actually get a look at some brand new lego fortnite skins with the first one being the guy in the marshmallow outfit i think this one looks really great would love to see this as an actual physical minifigure i uh, love that molded piece that they've got for the marshmallow helmet there and also the printing on the minifigure on the arms and the legs is just phenomenal it's even got side leg printing as well which looks really really good and then you do also have some really nice torso printing as well and then we do also have a bunch of other uh, fortnite skins as well that have been added some of these actually being based off uh, characters from greek mythology you'll see in the middle there is i believe zeus uh, and i honestly quite like these minifigures uh, not really bothered about them being based off greek mythology or anything like that but uh, i think that the actual detail on the minifigures looks great and then we do also have a brand new lego uh, vip reward that's been revealed in order to get this you have to uh, use your vip points or insider points i should say and it's these two buildable birds this is found on the lego instructions page and overall i think these look fine uh, not really too bothered about these i do quite like the uh, build for the birds i think that they look quite good uh they have a lot of a really nice part usage on them uh, to represent the curvature and the shaping of them as well and i think that overall they're pretty simple builds but they do definitely look quite good and are pretty effective as well so i do really like that and then we do also have some brand new lego gift with purchases that have been revealed with the first one being set 40688 and this is the trophy award i recommend for ages seven and over this one looks fine not really too bothered about this one it's pretty bland in my opinion definitely the least exciting giveaway purchase that we've seen so far for 2024 and you can take a closer look at the back of the box as well just sort of showing the trophy at a bit of a different angle there but yeah it's fine it's supposed to be what it is you know i can't really knock the actual build itself it looks fine it looks like a decent trophy build but it's just not that exciting in my opinion uh, comparing it to the other gift with purchases especially with this one as well being set 40685 the water park this one looks really nice uh, quite fun this one is and you do get some minifigures included as well um this is recommended for ages seven and over two minifigures are quite nice uh, they do have some pretty de decent detailing on the torsos and such there as well and i think this would be a really nice one to just put in a lego theme park if you are uh, trying to build a lego theme park for your lego see this would be a really nice one to add uh, of course you do get the little slide and everything as well which is quite cool um, and then you do also get a bunch of other features such as a bucket there that does have a few studs and such in it so you can actually empty that out to pretend that it is water uh, so that is really cool there and it just has a really nice vibrant vibe to it as well which i really do appreciate and then the last gift with the purchase that we do have is set 40683 and this is the flower trellis display uh and this is recommended for ages 12 and over this one i think looks pretty good um i think this is a really nice one i think a lot of people will definitely like this one more than the other two i think that it looks really good the details on the flowers are pretty great as well and especially considering the fact that it is a gift with purchase i think that lego have uh, done a pretty good job with this and it would also go really well with the botanical collection sets as well so if you are a fan of those from the lego icons theme and do like to collect those this is definitely one that i would definitely recommend to pick up as well but anyways moving on we do actually have some very exciting information regarding set 10333 and that is barador from lord of the rings this set will be released for June 1st of 2024 and it will actually uh, retail for a price of $460 with 5,471 pieces. So it's going to be a pretty expensive set. However, if you are comparing this to Rivendell, this is actually cheaper than Rivendell by a bit and also the piece count is a lot less than Rivendell as well uh, but we do actually have the measurements of the set. So this is going to be 33 inches tall and 18 inches wide. So it is going to be a pretty massive model, which I'm really excited for. And as for what's going to be included in the set, at the moment, we know that it will actually be including a dungeon, an armory, a throne, and a treasure room as well. So that is really exciting there. Definitely can't wait to see those. And there will most likely be a bunch of other things that have been included in the interior as well. Um, and it does actually feature 12 250 minifigures, including Sauron in the full armor. Frodo, Samwise, multiple orcs and many more as well. We're not sure of the exact minifigure count at the moment but like I said before it will be around 12 to 15. I think I would have liked a few more minifigures in this set. I think it would have been great if it was over 15 to um, early 20s in the minifigure count uh, but I'm still really excited for this one and I think a lot of people are going to be really hyped for this as well. It will be released for June 1st so 
I would expect this set to get revealed very soon. Uh, we are in mid-March now, so that is in about two, three months away from its release date. So I think from this point to June 1st, we could easily see the set leak or we will most likely be seeing minifigures from the set leak slowly and then we will probably randomly just get the full set reveal on one day. Like a similar thing that happens with a bunch of other sets as well. But anyways, moving on, we do actually have some very exciting Lagoon and Jago information because like the Harry Potter sets that I talked about in my previous video, we actually have the full descriptions regarding the Lagoon and Jago Summer 2024 set. So the first one that we do have is set 71818. And that is the tournament arena battle this will retail for 50 dollars uh with 659 pieces so the description for the set is the following here you will find two movable dual platforms equipped with among others in a rolled barrel and a staircase um tra trap door in addition there will be a large stone statue built in the shape of a minifigure perhaps an image of master Wu. the set includes six minifigures being kai and sora in tournament armor Evil J, Tox, these two will be unique. Uh, Cinder and the Wolf Warrior. The set can be combined with set 71814 as well. The next set that we do have is set 71816, Zane's Ice Motorcycle. This will retail for $10 with 84 pieces. And the bike will have a mechanism with retractable ice blades. And inside we will find a Zane minifigure in new tournament armor with two katanas. The next set that we do have is set 71820, the multifunctional ninja vehicle. This will be retailing for $90 with 576 pieces. And the description for this one is the following. So the main feature of this set will be the ability to unzip into four smaller vehicles. Sora's glider, Lloyd's off-road car, and two motorcycles, Cole's and Nia's. The set includes six minifigures being Sora, Lloyd, Nia, Cole, all in tournament armor plus a wolf warrior and a wolf mask general as well the next set that we have is set 71821 cole's titan mech dragon this will retail for 130 dollars where it will include 1055 pieces it will be the largest titanium mech to date with great uh, posing possibilities the robot will be equipped with dra dragon wings and a great sword which note will be made of a new large ornithopter wing element from the dune set in gold the set consists of a cold figure in a white and orange outfit the next set that we have is set 71822 the source dragon of motion it will retail for 150 dollars with 1716 pieces and it is supposed to be the largest dragon in the series and in general with a movable head and jaw neck tail legs and large wings on its back, there is a throne-shaped saddle and a uh, gong. Uh, minifigures included are Kai, Wildfire, Aaron, Lord Raz Jordan, and the Wolf Mask Warrior with new claws. In addition, there will be a new cast of the Spiritual Dragon, and we have lots of new details about the Summer Wave. Uh, we know that the Wolf Warriors in this wave will be getting a new color scheme, which is going to be purple and red, and some will uh, get special casts of their big paws in some transparent colors um, and that is all of the lego ninjago dragons rising season 2 information that we have for those summer 2024 sets but there we go everyone with that being said this is the end of the video if you did enjoy then why not subscribe as well as like the video and turn on notifications as well as follow me on instagram and join my discord server links will be down in the description below let me know down in the comments below what you think about all of the latest lego news that we've covered in today's video i'll talk to you guys soon so peace out See you later and bye-bye.